New at six, a business owner is refusing to close up shop even after her lease expired. She's waiting for her day in court. ABC 10's Devin Tribby joins us live right now with more on this ongoing dispute. Devin. Well, here in the Folsom Historic District, Cubole remains open despite their lease ending on July 31st. The owner says she's waiting for her dispute to be handled with the landlord properly in court. Kubale Casina and Cantina has been a family restaurant in Folsom for 20 years. Translated, Kubale means what's up, and that's what owner Diana Cadron is asking. What's up with her lease not being extended after she's put $100,000 of work into this site? Well, we were in the process of uh, renewing, going back and forth, um, talking about the prices for our lease and for common area maintenance, the prices for that moving forward. Uh, during those talks, everything um, just abruptly shut down. Kubale signed a lease in 2014 in historic Folsom for five years with the option of renewing for up to 20 years. Mo Harani purchased the property, becoming her new landlord. Caldron says they renewed in 2019 and then received an eviction notice to leave by July 31st. She alleges it's retaliation for a lawsuit her employee filed after being in a property's elevator that broke, falling two floors. It all happened the same weekend. The lawsuit was filed in Sac County on Friday, um, May 10th, and on May 13th, he put the notice up on the window, like to vacate the premise. ABC 10 spoke with landlord Mo Harani. He did not wish to do an interview, but provided this statement. The eviction process has already begun. I would prefer that this play out in the legal system. I trust the legal system. Harani says the restaurant didn't say they wanted to renew within the 90-day period. He also says Caldron claiming she emailed him about renewing is false. I want to wait it out until our day in court, and I want a judge to decide who owes who money. Calderon is looking for her $5,000 deposit back and reimbursements on repairs she did for broken windows, leaking roofs, water damage, and more. Calderon says once this is all settled, she hopes that they can find a new location, one where they can own it themselves. Reporting live in the Folsom Historic District, Devin Truby, ABC 10. All right, thank you, Devin. We'll see how this issue gets resolved.